It's mid-October in Germany. Usually at this time of year, the Eiffel Mountains have seen their first snowfall of the winter. But today, the forecasters are predicting a mini heat wave. And that's perfect for Guy Martin, who has come here to try and break two records. The Van Lack record around the legendary Nürburgring. And on the tracks two kilometer straight, he wants to reach 177 miles per hour and set a new world speed record for a transit. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. He's going to give me torch, give me overalls, never look around the The lab record he wants to beat was set five years ago by ring aficionado Dale Lomas in a modified Volkswagen T5. Dale's come along to watch Guy try to snatch his record, driving the hugely challenging 12.9 mile circuit in under nine minutes and 57 seconds. This is perfect lap record weather. This is what you want, because you've got the sun beating down, warming up the tarmac. You've got the cold air still lying over the land to feed the turbos, the cold, dense air. Couldn't have asked for a better day. What's they doing back home? He's lashing it down back home. We're in, what are this, the second week? Start of the third week of October. Driving here was 28 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful, right. <laughs> Guy has just one hour in which to set both records. The circuit's his between 11.30 and 12.30, and he'll go for the lap record first. I'm gonna go two steady laps to start with, hopefully do the record in those two steady laps, come in, refuel, take the tire pressures, go again and hopefully smash the record. If all goes well, he'll then head out again to also try and break the transit van world speed record. That's the plan. That's not going to go to plan, is it? Because it's not going to go to plan. We all know that. With just 10 minutes left before his slot, Guy changes into his racing overalls and the correct footwear for driving a transit. Got my work boots on. I'm just thinking, I was thinking about race boots and all that. Transit, innit? Yeah, get your work boots on. Which, fingers crossed, fingers crossed the van's all right. Fingers crossed I don't do anything stupid. Which, that's not out of the question, is it? That has happened before, hasn't it? Also wearing his racing suit is Andy Carlyle, the fastest man around the ring on a motorcycle. Guy wants Andy in the van during his record attempts. Co-driver? Rally drivers have it, don't they? Rally drivers have it. <laughs> That's not against the rules, is it, to have a co-driver? If it meant I was going to go faster, then why not? There's an awful lot of untested things to do with such an unusual vehicle. So if there's something that's going to feel like a risk, I can maybe remove a bit of speed before that risk goes to critical. From what we lost in Andy's weight, we would more than gain in his track knowledge that he could relay to me. All right. Yes. On the dot of 11.30, Guy and Andy set off. A little bit apprehensive. Because Guy has exclusive use of the track, he has been given special permission to head out of the pits the wrong way, to then turn around and give himself a good run-up for the start without having to drive a whole 12.9-mile outlap. First job, break a lap record. Right then, lad, we're away. Gas and go. Need a bit in, we've got to go into shade, look at the two kilometre board on the left, two kilometre board. I can't hear you! Right, that's our maximum. Can you hear me now? Yes, good. Calming, calming. Jump straight, then gentle brakes. Jump straight, gentle. Test the curb, see what it, see what it behaves like. No, it bounces. Skimmer brakes, feel it hot. Halfway through his very first lap, Guy's flying. But the van's a handful. It's just a big van, he's too tall. Trying to manhandle that with no power steering. It'd be good because I've got loads of feeling for the steering. Strong right, straight through. Bit more gas, keep her balanced. It's a lot of van. Yeah, and the brakes struggling with the brakes. Is that lock in the back? 
too much power in the rear brakes compared to the front brakes. Seems to handle all right. A bit bouncy through Whipperman. As he powers along the two kilometer straight for the first time, Guy hits 144 miles per hour. And that's without pushing hard. Look at that black side. Keep back in the gas. Keep your feet back in it. A bit more. As he nears the end of his first lap, all is looking good. You was also on pit lane, weren't you? What did it look like when I came on? All right. Motoring. Amazingly, on his very first attempt, Guy has beaten the lap record by almost 30 seconds, recording a time of 9.28. Gas through, really jump, gas. He's not finished yet, though, and pushes even harder on lap two. Everything was on Gidori, really. We're going to be travelling faster than we have before. Is it all going to work? Second lap was going faster, but the van was getting bloody hard work. Get it stopped here. Yeah, no. Everything was red hot in the engine bay. All the rear suspension, the front suspension was just... It's got two tonne of van to deal with. It was just getting red hot. And it was just pushing on because the tyres were overheating. Oh, yeah. You'll have enough cameras in the van to see that I might have been sweating. A third of the way into the lap, Guy's six seconds up on his previous time. I think what I was losing in the van being unsettled, I was gaining in confidence in the track and that van around that track. As he rides the banked carousel corner, he's 10 seconds faster and on for a blistering lap. They use all the track on the way out, every inch. Just from the noise alone, everything resonates. Gas up and over, feel it, it wriggles. It's one of the loudest, if not the loudest, vehicles I've been in. Dental brakes before. Missed the first apex, look the second. There's something about that van that is... It's playing with fire. It's really playing with fire. Guy and Andy are still on track for a great time. But behind them, Andy's words are proving all too prescient. A turbo oil line has come loose and oil is now spraying onto the engine. And that started a fire. We braked and saw the smoke come forward, and I thought, oh, that may be in right. There's smoke coming through in the cabin. Really, the apex, what are the temperatures like? Good. Right. Everything was all right. I was looking at the numbers on the dash, so I thought there's no issues there, but we have, there is something going on in the back, but the van was still going good. Keep going, it's not completely on fire yet. Faster than it looks, you can let it run out really wide. Feed a touch more gas in. More, bit more. More again. As they reach the two kilometer straight, the fire's getting worse. This could be Guy's only chance to push for the speed record. And then she conked out. Don't know why, I don't know why he did that. So I had to reset everything, switch everything back on. Ooh, she fired up again. So we lost a good few seconds there. And then we finished the lap. The strain's at the back of the car. As we're coming to a halt, loosen belts to get the fire extinguisher out. Fire! Fire! I thought there'd have been a bit of smouldering going on, but no, I didn't think. I didn't think we'd have flames. But we did, and we dealt with them. No one died. Did we do it? We are. Do you time? Go on, what have we done? We've done it. 28. Oh, so we've done the record. You've done the record. First, first lap, 928. We've done the record. Guy's broken the lap record, but with the van's engine now fire damaged, 
he's forced to abandon the speed record attempt. I hope. Oh, that draw. While the speed record will have to wait for another day. It's done the lap record, that'll be 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Yeah. Guy's more than happy. Happy camper. Happy camper, the job's done. The job's done. We had a, a fire. We had a fire. With that guy's done off. Surely everyone knows that if you're going to go to a racetrack, you don't take a van, no matter how much modifications and silliness you've thrown at it. We were nearly in an eight, weren't we? <laughs> mega fun. There is a certain grudging admiration from the Germans at what Guy's built in his shed and brought over and broke a record in. Any spare second I've had in my life over the past five months has been that tranny van. And now, oh, and brief. It's not speed. Outright speed is stimulating, but that doesn't mean that the very fastest vehicle is the most fun. That thing is such good fun. Dale's full lap record was 9 minutes 57 seconds. I did on my first lap 9 minutes 28. So the thick end of 30 seconds off. 9.28. Mega lap time for a van. No van has ever gone that fast before. Yeah, for how long am I going to be Nurbo Ring lap record holder? Dale's got a smile on his face. Yeah. You're not having my van. You're not having my van, boy. <laughs> <laughs>